Hej, jag heter Camilla Pedersen. Jag kom hit, jag är 18 år gammal och jag är utbytesstudent från Sverige. Being raised in Sweden, I didn't know God at all. Um, we're a lost country. Uh, I don't have a single friend that goes to church. My family doesn't go to church. Uh, no one believes in anything, basically. Uh, the, only, the only time you talk about religion is when you make fun of it. I don't have any friends that are Christians. I have uh, a lot of friends that are Muslims. Most of my friends don't believe in anything at all. Growing up in Sweden, I didn't know God. Uh, I didn't have any, I didn't have a passion in my life. Uh, I lived to drink and to party. I started drinking when I was 13 years old. And since then, that's basically what I did every weekend. That's what all my friends do. Drinking was the only thing that made me feel good. And it made me feel good for the moment. Uh, but afterwards, I just felt empty. I felt even more lost than I did before I started drinking. I moved here in August and I was the epitome of loss. Um, I didn't know anything about the country. Um, I didn't know anyone here. I left my family and all my friends at home. Uh, and I didn't know anything about God. The first few months here were really hard. Um, I was homesick. I didn't know anything about the culture. I didn't fit in. I basically didn't want to be here when, it, I, when uh, Christmas came around. In January, I moved in with a friend of mine and her family, and uh, I started going to church with them. And I went to church every Sunday, and we had Bible study once a week. Um, and I felt like I'd been missing out for so long, um, and I felt that I really belonged in church. I had been reading about River Park on Twitter uh, from friends from school that were, they were going here every Wednesday and they loved it and I didn't understand how anyone could like church that much. Uh, but we decided to come on uh, Party Rock Wednesday and that was my first time here. And Eddie Ryrie was talking and he was talking about how amazing God is and how much he sacrifices for us and how much we need to sacrifice for him. And um, I knew that he wasn't talking about me because I hadn't been saved. Um, and at the end of the service, I was completely broken, and I decided to go back to the back, and I got prayed for, uh, and I got saved. I accepted Christ into my life that night. Um, I left a completely different person, and I knew that my life was never going to be the same again. I've never felt as whole as I did. Um, I've never had such a passion in my life. I love reading my Bible and I love praying at night and I love getting to know God better and getting a better relationship with Him because it, that's what gives me the strength to get through my day and to get through my week and it makes me happier than I've ever been before. Uh, I've been trying to invite as many of my friends as possible because I want them to find the same fulfillment as I've found in Christ. I'm going back to Sweden in a month and I'm scared because I know I'll be thrown into the darkness. But 1 John 4.4 4 says, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And I know that he will give me the strength to be the light in the darkness. My name is Camilla Peterson and one invite changed my life.